KR Support. We're not actually in Melbourne, we're actually in Sydney. But to be honest, it's gonna be an absolutely wild night, so strap yourselves in, guys, because we're going to a stadium that we've never, ever been before on VKR Sport. This year so far, we've been to a couple of stadiums that we've never been before. That's Jubilee Oval, and no, actually, <laughs> we've been to a couple, but no, actually, it's just Jubilee, and then tonight, Campbelltown. I've never really been out Western Sydney, and I think everyone knows what the reputation of Western Sydney is like. So I can't wait to experience something new for one, just like we did with Jubilee Oval for the Dragons vs Broncos game. You know, funnily enough, guys, I've actually been to every single Broncos game this season, and I'm gonna be there for the next, like, three, four rounds as well, I'm pretty sure. I'm not too sure, don't, I can't promise you on that. I promise you, Melbourne. I couldn't provide Melbourne. If you had to check my Patreon, Instagram, and Facebook, you would have seen why I can't go to Melbourne, but unfortunately, I just can't get down there. It's just, it's ridiculous, man. It's actually crazy. So instead, guys, we're gonna have to settle for some killer rugby league action this weekend. I'm telling you, it's gonna be absolutely killer. Tigers Broncos tonight. Tomorrow, we're gonna be heading to the double header, which is Parramatta, Sharks, Rabbitohs versus Manly. And then on Sunday, the Roosters versus Knights is gonna be an absolute cracker, man. Stop it! Stop talking! Let's go, Blake! Let's just bloody go. I'm not even talking anymore. Let's just bloody walk. I'm getting out of here. Alrighty, so attempt number two. <laughs> Basically, it was just really, really loud before one I don't think you would have been able to hear me. Even with my new thing. Even with my new thing. But yes, I'm looking for the Tigers today, guy, because I'm not here. Oh, well, I'm not here. <laughs> I am in Campbelltown for the first time I've ever been down here. So I want to kind of support the home crowd. I want to see what the home crowd's like. You know, I can support Broncos every day of the week. Or not every day of the week. I can support Broncos every other week because I live up that way. So, you know, I thought I'd make it a little bit different. Broncos man, promise, I promise, I'm not making, I'm not, I'm not taking the piss, I'm not taking the piss. First game obviously Dragons, I was at Jubilee, second game Cowboys, and now this. Sorry guys. <laughs> so attempt number three guys, that bloody thing up there, what ecosystem, yeah whatever. That has been the bane of my life man, it's just not letting, <laughs> letting me do any filming. But anyway guys, I'm here in the Tigers supporters area with... Go Mr. the Tigers! Mr. Woo! Bagler, hold on, come over here mate, whoa! Hey. Oh, I'm tripping on everything. Basically, he's Facebook famous for... What, what are you Facebook famous for, my friend? Oh, for Sledging Rebels, A-League, you name it. For Sydney FC, Sydney Cove FC, stuff. Yeah, 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 he's, yeah, just, yeah he's all over Bolly Facebook. All over. Big Tigers, man. What do you reckon of the game tonight? Um, I think it will be a close game against Brisbane. Yeah. I don't think there'll be too much in it. You know, if you, have, if you play like we've been playing for the last two weeks, say Tigers by four. Tigers by four. See, the thing is, is that I personally, I'm not going to say too loud, <laughs> yeah. but I think the Broncos may win this game. I want the Tigers to win, but I think the Broncos may just have it. Yeah. The thing is, I haven't really spoken to these guys about it, but the Broncos have stumbled last week, but they still won. Yeah. Um, and they were pretty unimpressive in their, their first round loss to the Dragons. However, the Tigers beat Storm and Roosters. So, yeah. you know, it's very 50-50 this game. Yeah, it could go either way, but you know, depending if we show up tonight, because Tigers, they tend to show up some games and not show up the other games. So, it's yeah. a 50-50 between us, but if we play like we've been playing for the last two weeks, you know, I think we'll get a pretty good result out of it. Who that. do you think's been the best player so far this season? I know it's only been two games, but who do you reckon's been the, the biggest improver or just the, t the player that's really took the Tigers to another level? Honestly, I think the whole squad in general is yeah. all committed in their own way. So that I can't really pick out any individual player. Yeah. But my personal favourite is Benji Marshall. I was about to ask about Benji. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I think he's played incredible. Just yeah. With his kicking game. Especially for his and age too. Like exactly. he's, not a, he's not a young bloke anymore. And what impresses me the most is his leadership towards the squad. Yeah. He has been like pushing the team, pushing the club. The results are showing. And well, that's the thing. The Tigers have been a very young side for quite a while now, and they haven't been making too much groundwork on the top eight. Now they've got a kind of an older head, a more experienced head back in the team. It's looking like they're really starting to improve a lot more. Exactly. You know what? I think it will be a better year under Ivan Cleary. Yeah. I think it will be better than what we've been previously playing. Yeah. But, um, Top eight? You know what? 
I'm going to say top eight, you yeah. know? Not top four or anything, but I'm going to say top, like, we'll finish seventh, eight, between there. Yeah, all right. Yeah, I, yeah. Kinda, I think Tiger says, you know, very 50 50. So I, I don't know whether they'll make the eight or they won't make the eight, which is very fence sitting. Exactly. But yeah. in the same sense, like, you know, I, I give the Tigers a little bit more of a hope than they did last year, because last exactly. year they were pretty exactly. average, just like times. <laughs> if, if you had told me four weeks ago that we were going to beat the storm and, and the Roosters, I would be laughing in your face. The dream is on. I can't be shaken, I, I know I'm strong Power awakened, I believe I'm great I let my passion come out I'm a dreamer, dreamer My eyes will show Some kind of worry, bubble blue as rain A dream, a story, I'm face to face I need my soul to scream out I'm a dreamer, dreamer I thought that he missed it. Typical Broncos match when they go for the two south game. That's typical one. Nice of you to turn up, man. Nice of you to actually turn up in a blue jumper, too. Bloody blue Kansas City. And he's got a Sharks hat on. Have a look at him. And he's got a bloody Sharks hat on. What? That's a CR award. Go. That was Paul. No, no, no. Oh! Oh! He's still going. Oh, yeah. I tell you what, man, like, the Tigers have been putting on enough pressure. Like, it's oh, a lot of pressure, but they just keep knocking the ball. They keep making mistakes. They keep trying. Like, it's just, you know, they're just not putting them to the sword. Like, the Tigers have been playing decent football, but then they just drop it. That's, <laughs> but then again, they've won two games in similar fashion, but not kind of playing fantastic, but playing well enough to get the win. Oh, bad pass. Oh, bad pass. Jeez. Oh, no, it's even worse. What the f***? <laughs> That was so funny. Oh my god! This is the worst pass I've ever seen in my life. Oh! Oh my god! That was the worst pass I've ever seen in my life. That was the worst play. That's the Tigers for you. Alrighty, so it's half time and I'm not too sure whether it's 2 2 or 2 0 or 0 0 or, you know, I don't know, it's all over the shop. What's happening at Sea Town, mate? What's happening at Sea Town? I'm right, with John. It's a scoring game as always. 2 2. We never go twice the first half. We had a few opportunities to score, but we couldn't. We couldn't. Tigers, like very defensive, very yes. attacking at the same time, but drop the ball all over the place. What's going on? Well, we're back to our usual selves. What do you expect? <laughs> we're back to our usual selves. I love it. What do you reckon for the rest of the game? Obviously, it's been a disappointing uh, first half. Well, I don't know what to expect. You know, score a try or two. I don't know. Or lose. I'll I would try. love a try. One yeah, try, try at least. Yeah. Who do you think needs to step it up? Yes. No, who do you think needs to step up? Oh. <laughs> <laughs> yes, yes, definitely. Uh, That's a good player. Uh, yeah, no. Yes, Luke Brooks, Reggie Marshall needs to step up. The halves need to step up. And I'm here with Luke. Oh, not that much. Uh, scrappy part. Yeah, he came there for like 10 minutes ago, throwing the ball around. No, dropping it. The worst pass ago, so yeah. Uh, everyone was dropping it in that game. Uh, hopefully, it won't entertain in the second half. Yeah, do you think, uh, obviously, the Tigers are very focused on the defensive side of things this year. Do you think that'll get you guys to the aid, or what do you think? Yeah, I reckon uh, the defense will get us set, and hopefully we'll just get a score in those late tries and uh, get us set. Oh! Oh! He's out! Yeah! Dude, 
Benji's done. He was wobbling on the place. His ankle's done. Here we go. Is he going to walk? Nah, he's... Oh. Come on, Benji! Oh, is he right? Yeah. Nah, he's done. He can't. Benji's... Oh, man, that's a rough blow for the tie. Very nerve-wracking right now. Oh, they're going for it again! Oh! oh they got it. The Bronx got it. The Bronx got it. Seven to six. The Broncos have not scored a shot and they're going to win this bloody game. How does it feel to obviously go from Cowboys and now Tigers? You looking pretty decent? Yeah, well, yeah, that's looking pretty good so far. So credit to the boys, yeah. Yeah, and what do you reckon's the the thing that you improved on most? Uh, probably my kicking, yeah. Anyway, guys, that's me for today's video. If you did like it, please give a big thumbs up. So know that you're enjoying this content. Both fought lost, but you know they show positive signs and they also show quite a few negative signs. So I don't really know where to go from you, the Tigers. The Tigers play on like pride and passion. Right? When the crowd gets up, they're again. Oh, the crowd, man! The when crowd. the crowd and when no one's kind of feeling it, they just turn just shit. turns <laughs> turns off. But anyway, guys, like I said, if you did enjoy it, please give a big thumbs up. Also, if you are a big sports fan and you haven't subscribed, if you want to hit that subscribe button below, it'll ding a link, link, notification bell as well. Tomorrow I'm going to be going to the double header. Rabbitohs vs Manly and Sharks vs Eels at ANZ. Anyway guys, catch you later.